will not only do what you what you thought you couldn't receive, but they gonna do it genuinely. Or do it so well that you don't care if it's genuine or not. Did you hear me? Because, like, man, 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 you guys, can you hear me? Do it so well you won't even care if it's genuine or not. So it, it, leads, it leads to the question, well, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? You know, I've met women who were very, very, very assertive, but very feminine. And I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And I've met women who were very, very, very nonchalant and chill and won't even look you in your eyes, but completely interested. And all it took was, you know, the moment opportunity for you guys to have a briefing exchange of energy and now you know about all the amazing qualities of <laughs> uh, how her mom created this beautiful branch of love like come on like there's there's going to be times when you're chilling with a masseuse on the beach and y'all really sitting there discussing the quality of life and what time is and measuring love. There's going to be times when you just sit in there getting your face stuff and then before you know it that's not nah, that's Patreon. <laughs> that's Patreon, no cap. But when it comes to Thai women being feminine, it's definitely verified. It's definitely verified. I'm not saying that any other women in the world aren't feminine. And even for the ones who aren't, shout out to y'all. Shout out to you for being a woman on this planet in general. You feel me? We just talking about the topic of Thai women being feminine. They got that shit. They got that shit. They do that. I love the language personally. I love when they hit you with that car. I remember when I first pulled up about this month, I was on YouTube vlogging at a market. I had a lady ride past me. She double turned back. She said, oh, shoot. She put her hands together in between her drive and, and bowed at me and said, come. I'm like, oh, that's how y'all get out. It's my, my first night in Bangkok. I'm like, oh, that's how y'all get out. I think I had the Bantu knots in my head, too. But yeah, man. Feminine women here in Thailand is, is really refreshing. I noticed that a lot of men who, who want a feminine woman, you know, for many reasons in America, they probably didn't fit the description of the role for the, of the masculine man that the woman had wanted there. But let me tell you here, when you, when you come here, don't bring all that trauma and all that BS over there. Don't even take it back home. For real, heal that shit. Heal, deal with your issues as a man. Deal with your issues as a man. You know, if you want women that just want a trick, be real with yourself. If you want a woman that's out of your caliber and she's out of your caliber because you're not willing to be the vibrational match of what, what she will be attracted to, be real with yourself, you know. Um, so don't think like just because you come to Thailand, you about to get every woman that you want all because you just come in with some paper or you a new face because it's like it's not really like that. It could be like that for until it's just not like that. And to be looking at the when you look at the women, when you look at the feminine nature, when you look at women on this planet, like um, objects and property and things, it gets really, really, it gets really, really wicked. It gets wicked. Hold up. This. Y'all know what time it is? It's time for the. I'm in Patsy. Hold up. Y'all know what time it is? It's time for. Zabri. We just 
about to talk right here, y'all. Check this out. We about to kick it like a move. Check it. Oh. Bro, so. When it comes to being a single young black man here in Thailand, it's cool as fuck. Every day I walk out the house, I feel like I'm Michael Jackson. I feel like I'm MJ. I'm either Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson. Regardless, we don't miss. Miss what, Dakota? What you talking about? We not missing the shot. We not missing the hit. We not missing the move. And I'm not talking about the move out there in the world. We not talking about the party. We not talking about the bag of the girl. We talking about, come on. Thought about the moment to be present. Like, you gotta understand that you a different type of. Uh, you gotta know who you are, and then be real with that version of who you are, and see how you can help him. How he's helping you, or she, or the God body. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tap into that one. See, I didn't, I didn't tap into that one here. I've been that one. Oh, damn. And again, if you think we talking about popularity, if you think we talking about even money, if you think we talking about the materials, you, 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 you gotta catch up. We gonna get you there eventually. Hold on now. Fajita. This episode is sponsored by Soul Trap. Shout out to the Soul Trap and the DMG. Oh, Hana. <sighs> Seriously, like with the support of you guys, it's been an amazing year. Yes, I have overcome some crazy challenges that you probably will hear about in story times. And yes, I've had some amazing moments that videos could not capture. In 2024, we gonna make sure we capture the vision entirely. I'm, in, I'm opening up for an official cameraman, somebody who's gonna be rolling with me around the planet and getting all of this motion. So if you feel like you fit the description, if you feel like you want to be a part of the media team, or if you feel like you somebody that Big Cool to need to link with in your country, hit us up, man, at cooldmgent at gmail.com. Yeah. Everything in the description. Let roll. Oh no 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 no! Check it out. Pay to play. Pay to play. Pay to play in Thailand. You better add like you know. Big cool to talking about the topic. Pay to play in Thailand is so clear. It's and I'm not talking about the the idea of you paying someone to be with you or the idea of someone taking money from you. I'm just saying. It's, a, it's acknowledging the transfer of energy. Everything is a transfer of energy. Everything is a transfer of energy. This is one of the most basic instruction transfers of energy. Cause you could be kicking it with somebody who really don't want to be around you. And you think you got it figured out. Are you trying to figure them out? And really it's just a step. You just, a, the time, you feel me? But when it's for the money, it's for the money. I'm not telling you to go do it. I'm telling you that you know what the f is going on. So you you not you feel me? I got a question. How much you spend on a date in America? Let's say 
I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. Type in the comments if I'm wrong, y'all. You going on a date in America? You feel me? Let's say one of y'all ain't got a car. One of y'all ain't got or y'all ain't got transportation. You feel me? You gonna pay fifteen for the Uber? Fifteen dollars for the Uber. That's on the low end. Let's say you going out to eat. Going out to eat. You gonna spend thirty four. You probably gonna get some drinks too. You gonna spend thirty four. You gonna eat a good meal. What's that? Then you gonna pay another fifteen. For the what? The Uber. You're at sixty dollars right now. You're at sixty dollars. This is just for, this is just phase one of the date complete. To do what? To go buy some za. Ting. Yeah, yo, twenty to thirty on your za. If you're even doing that, or if you got your cup in your hand. Oh man. Actually, the way that y'all do dates back in the states, is, it ain't the same as me. So I ain't even. I gotta really think of this shit right now. It's not even like an ordinary day. Like we should have went to the wine bar. Scratch that. We went to the wine bar. We <laughs> oh man. What I'm going with if this bro is you was you was probably gonna spend sixty dollars on a date. Her, she letting you know up front, like, hey man, like I I think our experience is worth sixty dollars. That's up to you to go that route, brother. Me personally, I ain't really in it. Yeah, I ain't into that. I ain't into that for so many reasons. But I ain't knocking it. I ain't judging it. Like, bro, like, first of all, the sex worker field is a very, very, very intelligent thing. It's 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 omnipotent. It's healing in a way. Um, people just have no idea the power that sex work has in helping um, bring about our manifestations and desires on our everyday basis. And maybe here pretty soon, we'll have a school open up for you guys where we can get into the real of the creation, the manifestation, and our power, our God powers. Ooh-wee, but pay to play out here in Thailand is interesting, bro. So check this out. There might be a block. You won't be walking down. You walking down the block, right? You see a baddie, like, she's in the baddie, you know, she's a 10, she's under the, under the again. You feel me? You might walk past. She might give you that eye contact. She look up, you look down, you go, oh, she say, hmm? You say, what's happening? Now y'all talking, she like, Yo, um, trying to get out of here? Like, what's how? I know about a short spot we can stay for only 200 by. 200 by, you do the math, you're like, that's six dollars, blah. Why we going to, where we going for six dollars? Why it cost six dollars and what's up? Oh, but now you remembering what's going on. You remember you in Thailand. You remember you in Pattaya. You remember you on the block when the block is hot. And she just told you that she know where you can go to make it hotter. What you gonna do, chill? She gonna throw a number out there, a blown. What you gonna say? Oh, I think that's too much. Let me calculate that. You just gonna pull your phone now? You gonna do the math conversion on your... Hmm? What you gonna do? I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I did have to dive you into the world real quick. <laughs> 